Hello, Garrett. How you doing? Okay, here's my first try at this. I feel like I add more, but I'm not sure what's missing. Critiques would be appreciated. Absolutely, sure. I think it's a great start. You've done some really smart things here, but we can definitely improve. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got the composition up right here. All right. So I think, well, you know what, let's go through the requirements first. Okay. And the requirements are all in the in the uh, assignment page. So we'll take a look at the yeah, object must be dominant. It is. Good job. Object must be shown with somebody using it right there. Got it. Um, must show an image which is the result of using the object. My recommendation there would be to maybe show somebody sitting at a keyboard with a big smile on their face playing. So it wouldn't entail adding another image, but nonetheless, it would be a result of some, somebody, an image of, that results of somebody using the object. Okay, must show at least two components. You've got the plug. That's not a component. There's only one component here. We need another component. Okay, play and open. That is a, a logo. I do not recommend using that in there. Let's get, get another image in there. So definitely want to show um, uh, two components, okay? And those components should have um, should have captions, right? These aren't necessarily captions. Right now, the caption, these are larger than your body copy. So that's compromised hierarchy. The caption should be smaller. Think of a newspaper. Headline is the largest, then followed by body copy, then followed by uh, headline first, then subhead, then body copy, then captions are typically the smallest. Um, we got your design and everyday life headline, we got your paragraph of body copy, captions, white background only, asymmetrical 7 by 15 or 15 by 7 in this case, image comes in contact with the edge of the page, image in boxes. All right, so all right, so that's what we have, just a couple of, of, of considerations for the requirements. Just be sure to go through that list in the assignments page. Now let's take a look at what we have. I think it's a outstanding start. There's a few things we can do that really help this, though. The first thing I'm going to recommend is the orientation. Right now, you are horizontally, um, you're, you're, the, the format is horizontal, right? And this is, seems to be a vertical object. So if you want to place this, um, I would not crop it off like that. I mean, I would use a vertical orientation and just place that more of that keyboard in there. Right now, we're not seeing a whole lot of it. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so let me show you a vertical orientation. So this is a vertical object in a vertical orientation. If we put this vertical object in a horizontal orientation, it would look squished in there. And that's exactly what's happening here. We have a vertical object in a horizontal orientation. Um, design... Uh, Okay, so I, one thing that is really smart is you borrowed clues from the image itself to assist you. This is really, really good right here. You even got the dots. You even got the dots, and, and that's fantastic. I love it. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, as far as your, uh, excuse me, <coughs> as far as your um, title work goes, it's, it's, a, it's a good start, but I, I think we can really get creative here. Let me show you an example of super, super creative title treatment. This is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I'd love to see you try to shoot for something like that. Um, really visually engaging. Okay, back to your piece. Now, type, typography looks good. Your rags need to be adjusted. We want to avoid this kind of wave right here, right? So if you take a look at the course announcement, <clears throat> there's four of them. Look at all of them. Very, very important. But this one specifically is how to adjust your regs. You want to adjust those regs. So for example, take a look. That, that wave right there, whoop, don't want that. This big space here between this line and this line, don't want that. And again, this big space here, don't want that. Got to adjust these regs. Right now, I think your character count is just a little bit long. Optimal character count is in between 45 and 70 characters. That includes spaces and punctuation. Right now, you're well over 100 on a few of these, which indicates the need for a, a more narrow, just a more narrow um text box. Okay, so the good news is you're off to a fantastic start. Um, <clears throat> the better news is that by following a few of those recommendations, I think it's really going to be a great piece. So keep working. Um, take a look at all through. There's three lectures this week, this week's materials, and there's four announcements. Look at them all, then look at them again, and guess what? Look at them a third and fourth time. Get these things committed to memory. A lot of the things we learned this week are going to be applied for the rest of the term. So get in there and memorize those, those resources. There's a lot this week, self-admittedly. There's a ton of stuff to learn this week. So as I said, four announcements and three 
um, lectures. Okay, great, great start. Very nice. Um, any questions at all between now and Sunday, please let me know. But, and again, I just want to reinforce, don't use that image. Use imagery here instead of logos. Okay, fantastic. If you have any questions at all, Gary, but this is really a great start, so excellent. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.